morning, folks. Good morning, folks. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another video. This is a Big Don. Welcome to the Big Don's Kitchen. We are about to do a um, little breakfast this morning. You know, nothing too major. Just something simple. Um, um, so make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment on the video. Hit that notification bell and show your boys some support. All right. So this morning, what's on the menu this morning? This morning, we're going to do some waffles. We're actually going to do a waffle melt this morning. All right. So we... um. Got her um, a waffle mix, right? Miss Pearl, uh, formerly known as Aunt Jemima. All right, see right there, Pearl Milling Company. Not sure why they changed the name, uh, but I'm going to do some research on that and find out why they changed the name to Pearl Milling Company, which used to be Aunt Jemima. And, um, you know, uh, turkey melt. So we're going to do a uh, turkey. We're not going to do regular turkey breast. We're going to do a um, turkey koto salami, right? See right there. We're gonna do that, and well, for the melt part, you know, we're gonna do a little cheese on there, pepper jack cheese. So we're gonna grate some pepper jack, pepper jack cheese, and um, you know, and melt it, all right? So, uh, just something simple, something for breakfast, something real quick and fast, all right? So let's get cooking, folks. All right, so folks, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna mix our batter, our pancake batter, all right, for a waffle, <clears throat> all right? So, let me get my measuring cup. So we have um, it's gonna be a single cup measuring cup right here. Get rinsed out. All right, so we're probably going to use one, probably going to use about three cups to make our batter. Two. Three. And we're actually going to use water, yeah, because it requires milk. Um, I'm going to put um, some eggs in there. All right, so folks, all right, so we got our batter. We got three uh, three cups of batter in our container, and um, I guess each and every cup that you um, each and every cup that you put in your container. Right, it's supposed to be equivalent to uh, one egg. All right, so due to the fact that we have three cups of um, pancake mix in there, I'm supposed to use three eggs. I'm not going to use three eggs. I'm going to use two eggs. All right, so I already got my eggs um, processed, added to the batter. We're supposed to have milk. I don't drink milk, so we're not going to use any milk. Now, I usually use. Um, my um creamer but i ran out of creamer i have no creamer so we're just going to use water all right let me go ahead and mix that egg in add the water and get that batter mixed It's probably going to require about two cups of water. It's not quite ready yet. One more cup of water. Yeah, 
you know, mix it until you get to the right consistency. You don't want it a little ready. For the consistency of you know, light. Yep, I think that's perfect right there. So that's about one and a half cup of water. Three cups of batter or pancake mix. And that's the consistency you want it. Oops, okay. There you go. Perfect consistency. Get rid of that water. And now we're going to plug in our um, waffle machine. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I have my uh, waffle, uh, my waffle iron plugged in, and getting up to temperature. So while I wait to get it up to temperature, I'm going to um, coat it with some olive oil. All right, put some grease on there, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Right. Let it sit for a few minutes, heat up, and then we add the batter to it and let's get and let it cook. Let it cook it, cook it, cook. Alright, folks, starts. Now it's time for us to oh oh yeah, that's nice and ready. Alright. Let's get our batter on the pancake uh, mix. I mean the uh, waffle mix right there, the waffle iron. I'll pour that on there. You want to spread that out some. Yep, make everything even in the corners. And then we're gonna close it. Yep, and give it a few minutes. All right, folks, so now here's the situation here. All right, so here's the um, our their our, our product right here, our waffle mix, right? Um, so they're not completely done yet, right? Which which is good, you know, because with the melt with the the turkey melt I'm gonna make, I don't want the waffle to be completely done because I'm gonna take it off right now, right? And I'm uh, making another batch, and then I'm gonna um, you know, get it prepared with the cheese and the turkey and stuff like that, and put it back on a waffle mix. You know, so we can get the process finished. So we're going to take that off right now and start the process. All right, so here we go. It's time to get that off of there. All right, there we go. That's one batch. All done. I'm going to put a second batch on there. Let's get this greased up some more. Get that greased up. And get the rest of that waffle in there. There we go. Put it right in the middle. And let everything spread out.
Cut that out. Yeah, with the fork. Uh huh. We'll give it a little bit of help. Close that up. That's all she wrote. All right, good. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get our cheese grated. We're gonna grate our cheese. Pepper Jack cheese, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we can either use uh, Pepper Jack cheese or Swiss cheese. We're using Pepper Jack cheese this morning, and this is block Pepper Jack cheese. I um, ran out of time last night. I was trying to get to the store to get the um, the slice Pepper Jack cheese, but um, the stores were closed. I don't want to go to the supermarket, so I stopped by one of the gas stations and get a block of pepper jack cheese. Yeah, so what this is going to happen uh, with this uh, pepper jack cheese, I'm going to um, coat it on the waffle with our turkey and, um, you know, and melt it with the turkey and the waffle and all that stuff. And then it's going to be our turkey melt for our breakfast. All right, so there you have it, folks. I think I might need a little more on there. Lots of cheese on that sucker. Some pepper jack cheese. Let's get that on there. Let's get that grated. Very simple breakfast, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't nothing too hard to this. You know, just gotta be a little creative with it. You know, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure we don't eat our typical breakfast every day. Go morning, drink your coffee with toast or whatnot, the bagel, cream cheese, you know, egg sandwiches and stuff like that. You know, but yeah, you gotta be creative with your breakfast. With your food, with your meals, period. All right, folks. So here we go. All right, so cheese. First thing we're going to put the cheese on there. On the waffle. Got to spread that out nice and evenly. Make sure everybody got some cheese on there. Make sure everybody got some cheese. And then we're going to put our turkey on there. One, two, three, four slices of turkey on there. Put the rest of the cheese on the turkey. All right, there we go. And get that on there, all right? So we're gonna cover that slightly, all right? And give it a chance to, um, to heat up and melt that cheese. All 
All right, folks, let's check in the progress on our turkey waffle melt. Yeah, see the color in there? Yep, nice and golden brown. Everything that melts nicely. Yep, there we go. That's what we want to see. The cheese nice and melted. Yep, that's perfect right there. So, I think... Okay, hey, ladies and gentlemen, so this is Big Don, I'm back. They are food done, the boy, done, sorry, the boy, done, food done, food ready. Anyway, so um, what we did this morning, ladies and gentlemen, something simple, um, something real simple for breakfast. We did a um, waffle turkey melt, right? So we did um, turkey salami koto, right? Now the regular turkey breast, uh, it's almost like um, bologna, you know, but it's the turkey version. See it right there? And um, we have our... Um, the cheese that we use uh, melt on the um, on the waffle is a um, pepper jack cheese block version, which I grated. All right, so here's our finished product. Here's what it looks like. All right, I got it cut in triangular shapes. All right, that's what it looked like with turkey and stuff like that. In the middle, let me get a piece of our melted cheese on there. See. The melted cheese, stuff like that on there. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. All right. Mm-hmm. Agave nectar. I'm going to use my pancake waffle. I'm going to melt my, um, my pancake syrup. Sprinkle a little bit on there. Or a little bit of butter. Mmm, that agave nectar really set it off with the flavor. Oh, yeah. My finger. Mmm. So we go, ladies and gentlemen. Something simple. Something quick and fast for breakfast. Waffle turkey melt, all right? You can do it. It's real simple. Just got to be creative in the kitchen, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment on the video. Hit that notification bell and show your boys some support, all right? Thank you, my subscribers, you know, for, um, you know, joining in. All new subscribers, you know, that has uh, joined in for the, next, for the last two weeks or a month, all right? Thank you for your support, all right? Continue to watch the video. Continue to be inspired and, um, you know, continue to cook and show some love. All right. This is Big Don for Big Don's Kitchen. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment on the video once again. And uh, show your boys some support. All right. Until next time, stay well. God bless.